Hi friend, since I didn't shoot an intro for this, I thought you'd like to see where I was right before filming this creative journaling spread. A peek at the ocean. It's so quiet up here. Man, this is beautiful. Oh, and look, the city's right there. It was a beautiful hike at Westridge Trailhead, and it was my first time. Being there made me realize that I need to prioritize several things, including fun exercise and getting outside more in June. I am using my Map Your Month printable, but feel free to follow along and play with the supplies you already have on hand. If you do feel like grabbing it though, the link is in the description box below. I'm using Fisker scissors and I wanted to quickly say that it's always so wonderful seeing how you use these printables and how some of the techniques I show here on this channel have inspired you to really get creative, maybe choose yourself, choose love, even when it's hard. I design with you in mind. Sometimes it's things that I'm going through personally or friends are going through, but this one is pretty universal. Choose love. It may be hard, but it's worth it. I'm playing around in my Archer and Olive notebook. You can use any notebook or journal that you have. This one is a dot grid. It's a collaboration that I've had with them and it's from a while ago, so I don't think that you can get it anymore, but I really encourage you to use what you have and allow this time to really think about and focus on your intentions for June. I am very optimistic about June because May was pretty rough in a lot of areas and I'm going to take this opportunity to document a little bit about that, but how it's now a time that feels brighter, this one says it's a good time to refresh, renew, recharge. I love a deep sense of purpose and peace. There are so many opportunities ahead. And one of the favorite cutouts that I have, Live It Up, How Far You Go is Up to You. That's actually from a vision board that I created while at Craftcation. And then you see this little journaling hand and a pencil that I drew on Procreate let's do this. I basically plan out and map out how I want it to look, but I wanted to show you something really exciting. This is a new thing that I will be demonstrating in a second, but I got a little sidetracked. I'm taking this Altenew watercolor brush marker in Fresh Lemon and I'm squeezing it just a little bit and look at how nicely it comes out. I'm dragging it across the page or both pages I should say, and I'm going to take an Uli brush that's dipped in water. And what I love about this effect, if you've seen my channel before, I'm just taking this brush, it just has a little bit of water on it, and I'm dragging it across and diluting it so that there is a little bit more coverage and spread. And when it dries, I think it'll be a really nice texture background to have that is optimistic and bright. The yellow represents so many positive things. I'm going to splatter back here. And you do that by just adding a little bit more water or pigment, whatever you have, and then just tapping the brush. And I, for some reason, didn't record the rest of that and then got a little impatient. And I really should have waited for this to dry instead of assuming that I could position my hand so that it wouldn't get dipped into the paint. But of course, it did. And so don't do as I do, or you know, what is that saying? Do as I say, not as I do. Basically, give enough time to let it dry. Ironically, there's a cutout that says take your time, and clearly I got impatient. I'm sticking these down. I put adhesive on the back. You can print them on sticker paper, but I just printed them on regular paper. This is a first look on my channel for this stamp set with Altenew. It's my collaboration that comes out June 12th. And I have this very cool ink. It's my first time having ink pads in different colors. And this very cool color happens to be a favorite. 
So I'm looking for a good place to put it and I decided that it should probably be down here. So I'm pressing down and I slipped a little bit on the block that was user error, but look, it turned out really nice. I love the soft color. What lights you up? That is such a big question. And sometimes I think we forget to answer that for ourselves. We think we know and sometimes it changes. It evolves, we evolve. I couldn't remember where I put this. <laughs> I didn't take a picture at all. I really wanted to finish this in under an hour and give myself a time constraint because sometimes I feel like we can move the pieces around and we are taking up too much time to debate whether we should glue something down or not. And when we want to commit to something or maybe our creative practices are calling us and we only have a limited amount of time or energy, we need to use that in a constructive and creative way. So I am adding adhesive to the pieces and sort of making it up as I go as to where the pieces are going to land. You can see how nicely that fresh lemon watercolor dried. I think it's such a great contrast. That was one of my favorite cutouts that I made this month, a deep sense of purpose and peace. That is what is lighting me up. How does that sound to you? <laughs> does it sound good? Because that's what I'm craving. I'm craving a deep sense of purpose and peace. And I'm going to write down some other things that are lighting me up. Listing things that light you up can do wonders for your well being. I came up with a simple little ABC thing to remind you that taking care of yourself and nurturing your creativity is essential to connecting with your inner well of wisdom. And you really deserve to take this time for yourself. The A stands for awareness. Listing things that light you up cultivates self-awareness by bringing your attention to the activities, experiences, and aspects of life that truly matter to you. It helps you recognize what brings you joy, fulfillment, and a sense of purpose. B stands for bliss or boost. I couldn't really decide. Gratitude is a powerful practice that brings a sense of bliss and contentment and can boost your confidence. So you are actively acknowledging and appreciating the positive aspects of your life and it shifts your focus towards the blessings, which is another B word. And the C stands for clarity. Reflecting on what truly matters to you is a powerful way to gain clarity and you get to examine your values, your passions, your aspirations, your goals. It also brings you joy and aligns with your authentic self or helps you align with yourself, right? That's the truest version of you. And by regularly practicing this, by making it a practice, you can gain clarity on your priorities, you can make better decisions, and you can pursue paths that lead you to a more fulfilling and purposeful life. So remember, ABCs, awareness, bliss or boost or blessings, and clarity. This can be a gentle reminder of the transformative power of what you're doing when you take this time for yourself. Now I'm taking Peachy Keen and a flower stamp from my collaboration with Altenew. I have listed those supplies below as well, but feel free to use your stash. Uh, if you want to get new products, these are coming out very soon and they are some of my favorite ink colors. It was so hard to decide on which colors to choose for the 12 ink pads that we have in the collection, but ultimately I think we landed on some really good ones. The last flower I wanna stamp is over here because I like the 
elements to appear in odd numbers if possible. I think it just rounds it out a lot better. Now I'll just read you the journaling. What lights you up? Being kind to myself, being rooted in compassion, being creative, granting permission to do the things that I am passionate about, a newfound awareness rooted in reality that is profound and plentiful. How blessed am I to have come out of some dark places with new strength, resilience, and wisdom. The lessons have instilled within me an unwavering belief in my ability to overcome, hold space, rise above, and embrace the goodness that is sure to be ahead. Thanks as always for watching and let me know what lights you up in the comments. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. I'll be using more of these in my planner, but for now I'm just sticking this incredible, powerful down. Hope you feel inspired to get those creative juices flowing.